the Senator yield. I'd be happy to yield for a question, uh, for a question. but I do want to finish my remarks. And Always a question. As I understand it, and I'm presiding over Federal Aviation Administration, so sure. this is a little off the track, but it's, it's very hard for me to listen to this kind of dialogue week after week without having these thoughts and questions. Okay. The, the Senate passed with 60 votes a health care bill, which now... 60 partisan votes. Right, but which is on the way over to the House. The right. House has it. Right. The question is, is the House going to pass it? Um, if there's going to be any health care reform at all, the House has to pass it. Now, if the House does pass it, it will then constitute about 85 to 90 percent of the entire health care bill. And I listened to my my good friend and the, and the senator of South Dakota talk about 16 percent of the gross national product. But the, the bill that will come out of the House, hopefully passed, and therefore will not have to come back to the Senate, will, number one, be nowhere, will, will be the vast majority of the 16 percent, if that's an accurate figure. And But one thing which is even more clear to me is it'll have absolutely nothing to do with reconciliation. It's the regular legislative process. The only th question about reconciliation and the only place where it applies uh, from this senator's point of view is on that particular add-on that would be done to include some Republican ideas and to include a few more things that the House wants to do. Now, I asked, I asked my senator um, from Utah, how, how, why does he say that this is reconciliation affecting 16 percent of the GDP? when in fact what affects 14 percent or 15 percent of GDP is simply in a regular order of, uh, of Senate process and has nothing to do with reconciliation. Well, what I've already said is that the combination of these particular bills cannot pass without reconciliation. First of all, we know the House doesn't really like the bill to pass through the Senate. If they had the votes to pass it over in the House, it would be already passed. So what they've done is they're coming up with a cockamamie misuse of the term reconciliation, and they're doing a smaller bill. No, that, I've, 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 wait, wait, stip I, I've stipulated. Let, let me finish. Doing a smaller bill that is that that uh, assuming they could pass the large bill would then come over here. Now I submit to you, and I know it's absolutely true, they can't pass the larger bill, or at least. It appears they can't pass it because they certainly had time to do it. They just haven't done it. Now, I've also indicated that they may abuse the rules further by getting a special rule over there by a majority vote if they can. And the reason I put if they can, because if they go that route, that vote becomes an acceptance of the Senate bill that they will never vote on then they send both over here with just a small reconciliation bill to be tried here. Now, if that happens, they would have to deem the, the Senate bill as having been passed by the House, even though there never was a vote on it. So the key vote would be, would be the, the vote on the rule to deem that bill as passed, even though they would never have voted on it. If now, that's a really, really mixed up and messed up uh, version of the reconciliation rule. And there's only one reason they're doing that. That's because they cannot pass the Senate bill without this reconciliation package that will change the Senate bill without the Senate bill having never been voted on. Now, if the senator's right and they can pass that bill, the senator may have a point. Well, and then I would further question um, I don't see any possibility of the House changing a bill which the ha would have to come back over to the Senate because it would it'd be highly unlikely the Senate would be able to pass that bill. So I don't That's think right. that'll be the process. And th I think what the House will do, and they, you say they haven't done it, therefore they can't do it. Well, they said that about uh, the Senate bill in the Senate, too. And, and we did, and it was very close um, for reasons that it it got no votes from your side. But that's not the point. The point is reconciliation 
on 16 percent of the GDP. If they pass, and, and this is all in the full time of working out the process, uh, on the House side, the Senate bill, which is what they want to try to do, and then the reconciliation is not done on their side, it's done on our side, um, in which we put in a few things to, to maybe some med mal or whatever that will be attractive to Republicans and also some things which will help with liberals on the Democratic side in the House because they're more liberal than we are. And that, I would say to my good friend from Utah, is not reconciliation, but it's, it's, put, it's put that way for months now. And I'm on the floor and I have this microphone and you're being kind enough to, to, to uh, be patient with me, but it isn't reconciliation. Senator from South Dakota said it's 16% of the gross domestic product. It isn't. Probably about 5%, 6%. Well, let me, let me I want to finish my remarks. I thank, I thank the Senator. Well, I'm happy to do it.